Gary Antonio Russell, the dark horse at Bantamweight. Let's talk about it. You still don't get it, do you? He'll find her. That's what he does. That's all he does. You can't stop him. He'll wait for you, we got her drunk, and pull her fucking heart out. Gary Antonio Russell. He is ranked number one in the WBA and number nine in the IBF. He is right there for a fight with the champions. With Guillermo Rigondeaux about to unify with the WBO champion. That leaves Monster a new to fight the number one and number nine IBF and WBA ranked contender in the Bantamweight division. So let's look at the tail of the tape. Monster Anui is a boxer puncher, heavy on the puncher. Gary Antonio is a pure boxer who can punch. Age, they're both the same age. They're both 28. Um, Anui has 20 wins. Gary Russell has 18. Anui has 17 wins by knockout. Gary Russell has 12. That's an 85% knockout ratio for Monster Inouye and a 67% knockout ratio for Gary Antonio Russell. Neither one of them have any losses. They're both undefeated. Gary Russell is one inch taller, so he has the advantage in the height. But Monster Inouye has an inch and a half reach advantage. They're both orthodox, although I saw Gary Russell um, fight with both hands. Not to say that Monster knew he can't. Um, Monster's from Japan. Gary's from D.C. Monster's a three-division champion. And of course, Gary has only fought in one division. Uh, well, he's fought in two divisions, but he was only ranked high in one of them. Now, let's get to the breakdown. Um, I watched Monster and Nui's fights. I, I watched them all. He is a very good fighter. Um, he's a very good fighter. He he tends to fight to the level of his competition. And when he fought um, Nonito Donaire, which I still say is the best name on his resume. Uh, when he fought him, I saw some holes there. He likes to um, mix it up too much because he's a boxer puncher. So he likes to mix it. He likes to um, try to knock you out, which, which is uh, great for the fans. I, I got no beef with that. Um, but it's like when plan A doesn't work, he just keeps using plan A. He just keeps, he tries, continually tries to force um, a square in a circle. Like continually tries to force a square inside of that little circle. It, it doesn't matter. If it's not going, he just keeps jamming it in there. And Nonito Donaire was catching him with a lot of shots and hurt him like a lot of times. And, and that right there was like, man, now he did bounce back with that um, um, Baloney fight, you know, that that J Jason uh, Maloney or Jason Baloney. He did bounce back with that one um, and ended up stopping him in um, really, really good fashion. Uh, but it's not like Jason Maloney or is some type of monster himself. You know, he he's a good fighter. He's not a bum. He ain't trash. He's a good ass fighter. Um, but it's not like he's just some walking killer. Um, I would have preferred him, uh, Monster Inui, to fight uh, Guillermo Rigondeaux, but that's a whole different video. Um, but he has fought some really good guys, um, some decent competition, actually some really good competition. Nonito Donaire was good. Um, Payano was good. Jamie McDonald, that was that was good. Um, Emmanuel Rodriguez was good. So he, he's fought some good competition, and he stopped these guys. So because he is a puncher, he can punch like that. If you, if you give him the opportunity... He'll knock your head off. So that there's no shade to um, Monster Inouye at all. I, I really like Monster Inouye. I don't like the fact that he didn't fight Guillermo Rigondeaux, which is why he's not on my pound for pound. 
but he is still a beast, man. That is, he is a good ass fighter. He is a beast. Gary Antonio Russell, I've watched his fights. I know I went back to go over um, Gary Antonio um, Russell's fights. He also fought Juan Payano, you know, and he was beating him. He was beating the brakes off of him. Um, he was just washing him, washing him. Like, that, that was a really good fight for um, Gary uh, Antonio Russell. And what I, what I like about Gary is his feet are always in a position to punch. But he had, to me, his, his footwork is better than his brother's footwork, than Mr. Gary Russell's. His footwork is better. Um, he, 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 he has these, this way about him where he can either hop back ever so slightly, hop forward ever so slightly, or to the left or right. He takes just the right movement, um, just the right steps to be in the best position to land his shots and not get hit. Um, with his height and reach, um, now he doesn't have the reach advantage over over um, Nonito. I mean, over um, um, Monster Nui. However, he is a slick fighter, very slick fighter. He can stay in the pocket right there with you and not get hit. Like I, I, I'm watching him fight um, against these guys, and I'm like, man, this, this, he's he's the goods. He's the goods. Now, if you look at his resume, you'll say, oh, man, he's fought a guy you know, that had 10 losses and 20 losses and 8 losses. Yeah, he did. He has. But that's because other guys won't fight him. That's, that's because they won't fight him. He's fought, what, four times, five times in 2019, um, two times in 2020. We're in 2021, and it is time for him to fight again. There is nothing going on in 2021 with um, Monster Inouye for him to not fight the number one WBA guy that's available. There is nothing going on at all. I don't care who he's ta uh, in talks to fight. He's not unifying because El Chical is doing that. So he ain't fighting the WBO guy. I mean, unless he fights the WBC guy, then I don't care. If he doesn't fight the WBC guy, then he needs to fight Gary Antonio Russell. And that's not going to happen because Nonito Donaire is fighting Nordin Ubali. So, I mean, that's it. Like, Nonito Donaire is fighting WBC guy. Uh, Guillermo Rigondeaux is fighting a WBO guy. And you have the other two belts. So, if you don't fight your number one ranked WBA contender, then are you fighting the number one IBF ranked contender? In Michael... Das uh, Marinas. Now, if you fight Michael Das Marinas, I'm not going to say that Monster Inouye is ducking Gary Antonio Russell because you have two belts, so that means you have two number one guys. Um, and I would favor you to destroy um, Das Marinas. I would favor Monster Inouye to destroy him. It's this fight against Gary Antonio Russell that I see a problem with. I, I believe Gary Antonio Russell presents Master Inouye with all kinds of problems. All kinds of problems. Monster Inouye is a devastating puncher at that division. But if he can't punch, if he can't land shots on you, then what good is the punch? Um, Gary Antonio Russell will stay right in the pocket to allow Monster Inouye to throw those shots. However, it, like as I said previously, his defense is very, very good. Very, very good. Um, and if he can stay in right there and allow Monster Inouye to throw these shots and without landing or landing on gloves and then come back with his counter, which he does very, very well, he will allow you to throw a shot, which I saw in that Piano fight. He'll allow you to throw a shot. You'll land the shot. I mean, you'll throw the shot. He'll block the shot and come right back with a counter. Very, very nice shot. And his shots were crispy as hell. That is, this fight right here is a very, very difficult fight for Monster Inouye. And I think this fight is, matter of fact, I know this fight is more difficult for Monster Inui than the Michael Das Marinas fight. This is more difficult. Just based on um, the amount of experience and big fights that Monster Inui has been in, you know, you've got to favor him to beat uh, both of these guys. You've got to favor him to beat um, Gary, Anto uh, Gary Antonio, and you've got to favor him to beat Michael Das Marinas. Um, however, um, and he, he'll destroy Michael Das Marinas. It, 
bro, the Gary Russell uh, fight, that's about a, that's a, that's a 50-50 fight. That's a 50-50 fight. If he can't land, you know, if he can't land and land consistently because he landed some shots on Nonito Donaire and Nonito Donaire was still there. If he can't land and land consistently, um, he's going to lose that fight. He's going to lose. He's going to get outboxed. He's going to go to distance and he's going to get outboxed. He fu- man, that's a difficult fight. But if he can, then you know the 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 outcome will be the outcome. Me personally, I believe that that fight is going to be very very challenging. I believe it's going to be it's going to put um Mr. Uh, not Mr. Gary. It's going to put Gary Antonio on the map um, because right now everybody looks at him as just Mr. Gary's little brother. If you even know who he is at all. Um, but I, but I know a fight with, um, him with, um, Gary Antonio will give more recognition to Monster Inui than Michael, uh, Mar- Michael Marinara sauce. Like you fight, if, if, if you're to say you got two options, Michael Marinara sauce and Gary Russell, just off of the name recognition alone, you're going to go with Gary Russell. If you don't go with Gary Russell, then you don't, you're, you're clearly ducking that smoke. If you go with someone like Michael Marinara sauce talking about, oh, well, you know, who knows Gary Russell? Well, who the fuck knows Michael Marinara sauce? So, um, again, the, the road to take is missed as, as Gary Antonio Russell, that is the road to take. So if he goes the Das Marinas direction, I, again, I'm not going to call it a duck because he's fighting his, his there. She's got two number ones. So he fights Das Marinas. No problem. I, I'm not going to call it a duck. However, if your next fight is not the winner of Nonito Donaire versus Ubali or the winner of Guillermo Rigondeaux versus um, Casamarero, if that's not it, then you are ducking Gary Antonio Russell and I will go full bore to make sure the entire world knows it. BFTB. Shout out to the LDBC. And I'm out.